There they go on the two mile loop. Oops, where are they? There they go on the two mile loop. Let's see if we can see them come out there. Yeah, there they go. The Crazy Picker Life with Wheeler, Dealer, and Banana Peeler. Well, and I'm going over here on my day off. I decided not to run today. I didn't have a babysitter. So I get to watch, uh, I get to watch the kiddos play at the park. And I might even run around and play with them a little bit. Who knows? But I'm going to also talk about what to do when you encounter problems in your business or otherwise. Or what I do, I guess. What's up, guys? I don't know. What are you doing? Just okay. lazing around? Yep. November 15th, is that what today is? Mm -hmm. November 15th, and it's like 70 some degrees, no wind. What a nice day. And it's hot. Man, it could be could be snowy. Welcome fellow pickers and would-be adventurers. Dealer here with the Tuesday edition of the Crazy Picker Life. Well, I'm down at the park with uh, Sam and Lizzie, Elizabeth. And Kate decided to take a break today. So I'm babysitting a little bit while the boys go run a two-mile loop. Pretty much uh, on a uh, do nothing but school and hanging with the kids today. Haven't done any projects yet. Tonight is going to be date night. I asked Lon to go out to a movie. And I looked at our local theater which has two movies. And neither of them are that exciting. So I guess we're going to go to my office and stream a 4K movie off Netflix for the first time since we have new super internet and new good TV. And you might say, well, that's not that exciting, you know, sitting in front of the TV. Well, it's still a date out because uh, the kids won't be there. So we're getting away from the kids for a little while. And I'm going to bring popcorn and some kind of... Uh, special uh, sody pop so date with my honey and actually that'll be fun it'll be a nice break we don't do enough of that stuff we don't sit in front of the TV together much we don't do much together at all rather than just lay next to each other and sleep <laughs> passing in the night so this is the first step towards uh, rebuilding our relationship our relationship has been pretty solid but just pretty non-existent for quite a while you know obviously kids um, make it a whole different type of dynamic so that's what we're gonna do tonight oh what a beautiful day we've got it's uh, November 15th it's like 70 and, and sunny very little wind no bugs. We're the only ones at the park. Man, how could you not like that, huh? The quiet, the quiet life by design. Well, we moved out here by design, and uh, we've been here almost 10 years, and I think I made the right decision. If we want chaos and excitement, we just go to it. We don't have to live in it. Okay, so today's topic is what to do when you encounter problems in your business or otherwise. And we all have problems in our business or otherwise from time to time. I had a pretty good one yesterday when I tried to get my vlog going and I, through my own fault and stupidity, screwed it all up. And then I screwed it up even more, and then, uh, then it was unobtainable. And so I went home, 
slept on it, got up, still a problem. And I had to face that problem on my day off, right? So my first reaction was, this sucks. And there were some emotions involved and you know they ranged all the way from well you know here's a great point to quit your vlog to the other end of it figure out how the heck you're gonna make this work dealer <laughs> so you know the first step when you're encountering a problem is there's usually some sort of emotion that goes on with the problem and this goes in with the react and the respond scenario that I've talked about in a previous video I had a mixture of reacting and responding but if I would summarize how I go through a problem after I get over the initial uh, shock of the problem, which there's always going to be some shock depending on what type of problem you encounter. I mean, you can react and respond all you want, but if you get run over by a car, you're going to have a reaction and then you can choose to respond after that, but there's always going to be a reaction and it usually has some emotion. I like to uh, take care of problems, ready, set, go. Those would be my three steps. So after my initial reaction, my response is ready, set, go. And the ready part of it is assessing the problem. So I needed to make a plan but before I make the plan I needed to assess the problem that's the ready my problem was my vlog a wasn't uploaded B it appeared my files had been deleted and scattered to the wind C I didn't have a vlog and I was on my day off and so once I assessed all that I went to set ready set go and set is making a plan so I took all the information I made a plan my first step of action would be again to go back into my computer and see did you really lose the components to your vlog the video files the the incremental 2 minute to 15 minute I think there were 12 video files that I had uploaded that I had to put together into the the video vlog did I in fact lose them? That was my step one. And after, uh, you know, my plan was if I didn't lose them, then I would put the vlog together. If I did lose them, I was going to go to step two in my plan. And step two in my plan was search a little deeper. And so I used the software that I had purchased a few months ago to find a... Um, corrupted file or a deleted file and I played around with that a little bit I used um, Mac keeper has a, a file restore system neither of those could restore uh, what I had lost and I even went into the super filter in there which gives you raw data which is pretty hard to identify but you can reload that up and, and see if you can piece it together. I couldn't get that to work either. So my plan stated that I was making, given all this data, was um, it came to a junction, a brief junction. If I didn't have a vlog, my thought pattern was this. This might be a nice time to take a, a break from the vlog or I need to record another blog and pick myself up and go ahead. So it really was a decision point and that was part of my plan at that point was to make a decision. 
And then my fourth and final point was either to deal with the, the backlash of not having a vlog uh, anymore in the foreseeable future and how I was going to handle and deal with that or record my vlog, upload it, edit it, and distribute it as normal. So, ready, set, go. Ready was assess the current situation. Set was make a plan. And go is nothing more than run the plan. Now when I'm making a plan like this, ready, set, go, it's important to be thinking clearly and set aside emotion and also you need to filter out what's relevant and what's not relevant so you know if you're really emotional ready set go is not going to work if you're not able to tell the difference between reality and non-reality or maybe you're driving down the freeway at 90 miles an hour with your car on fire or maybe you're um, out on a date, or maybe you're, you know, making supper. If you're, if your mind's not in it, if you can't really separate what's going on from what you need to be doing to make this plan, you're not going to be able to make a plan. So you need a quiet place. You need to be able to be fixed on your emotions. You need to get yourself under control. You need to be able to respond and not react. And then you can take that data from ready and you can make a, a legitimate plan in uh, set, ready, set, go. And then when you make your plan, you want to look it over. Is this a realistic plan? Can I do it in the time I have available? Do I have the resources to do it? Am I in a good state of mind? Once all those things are lined up, then you go, you go for the go. And the go is nothing more than run your plan. So I assessed my situation on the computer. Yes, my files were lost. I played around with my software and found some things that sort of looked like the files. Turns out they were parts of the files and somehow the whole thing got scrambled. So I got to my decision point. Am I going to continue the vlog or is this time for a break? Or am I going to re-record it? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, that'd be fun. Okay. I'll be over there in a minute. Do some tire swinging. Got to the decision point and decided the idea of quitting the vlog was not a good one for a number of reasons. Even though sometimes I feel like I need a break, even though sometimes, you know, on my day off, I just want to have a day off. But I made a commitment to doing this daily vlog, and so the commitment and some other factors overrode all that negativity, and I made the decision to continue the vlog, even though I was having trouble, even though I lost the files, even though I had to re-record something. And so the fourth part of my plan was to, in fact, take that decision I made and move forward. I tried to get a little bit creative I went out into my tent and lay there and recorded my vlog and uploaded it and we're back in business this is vlog 142 that was 141 no skip didn't miss a day so you know you can come up with your own process for solving problems I like one that gets down to the bottom of it and sometimes when I have a problem, I just do this subconsciously. Sometimes bigger problems, I have to take breaks between steps. Between the steps, ready, set, go. Sometimes you just are too wound up. You can't get started on it. You got to blow off some steam, go for a walk, drink a beer, whatever. Talk to somebody. But I like to do something like this, and I think it's effective. Ready? set, go, then you can move on and wait for the next problem to come. A few bugs are on. I got a fly that thinks my hat and my ear are its home, so that's exciting. In Wisconsin, the bugs got killed off every year. Out here, the bugs hide. 
through the winter sometimes and when there's a break in the the coolness like today they all come out and they think it's spring and the flies especially are nasty they really like to bite and mingle and so that's not that great so that's pretty much today's vlog problem solving problems will arise um, you know you can if you have a problem you can't solve the internet's great these days you can go out there and vent you can go out and read about other people that have had similar problems you can google it there's a lot of ways to solve problems you can't let problems end your day stop your day derail you especially in business or your personal life it's worth solving them This vlog is short and sweet, and it's the way it needed to be today. I'm going to go on, push some kids on the tire swing here. In fact, I'll walk you over and we'll, uh, we'll take a look at what we got. And then, uh, you know, I've got some food shopping for the office tonight. Get a few snacks for our movie night tonight. Finish up school with uh, the boys. And uh, eat supper and go on my date. And then maybe get a chance to actually sit back and start a new book or read a book tonight if I'm not tired enough to go to bed. Wednesday, we'll start it all over. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I can really extend it here. This park is part of what attracted us to this town. We had uh, four kids all park age. Really, uh, for a small town of 5,000, just a nice basic jungle gym park and then they had uh, tennis courts and they have a basketball court and a pavilion that you can come and eat and just nice place to play football over there with the trees really a nice uh, nice setting it's not you know crazy huge or anything like that but it's just you know it's everything you really need and of course when we came there was nobody here and if you come off hours there's nobody here it's hardly super busy. Maybe on a Saturday there's a hundred people here or something. All right, what do we got here? Okay. All wound up and ready to go? Mm -hmm. All right. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Whoa. <laughs> oh. oh. Is that enough yet? No. 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 Oh, no. oh, that's about it for this guy. All right, so thanks for watching. Appreciate the comments. Appreciate your support. No worries. Vlog is safe and back in action. <laughs> we got a lot going on. I've voiced it over the last 10 or so vlogs that my mind is spinning with ideas and plans and all that. And I'm coming off a crazy listing busy uh, October a lot of a lot of backlash from that as far as orders and just busy a lot of projects going on a lot of things rolling around the old noggin <clears throat> thanks again for watching dealer out pick well list often hey, dealer production